This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Today I want to talk about dangling, dangling, dangling stuff in sketches. All those little gold warning messages and things. Most of those are dangling entities and things. You get this little message that uh, I have up on screen here. Sketch contains dimensions or relations to model geometry which no longer exists. Consider fixing it. Now, you can safely ignore this stuff for a while. We got these little gold warning messages over here in the feature tree. If they're red, go fix them right now. But if they're gold, when you get a chance a little bit later, it will be just fine. Let's go to a different model here. Let me show you how this happens. I've got this sketch already here, and it uh, uh, makes this cut. If I edit this sketch, I've got a collinear relationship, collinear over here, with the top edge of this model. If the boss comes along and says, you know what, I don't like the shape of this, I want this thing to look like a loaf of bread on top. So if you go in here and you edit this original sketch and you change the top to an arc and get rid of or turn that to a construction line, making things construction lines and keeping them is really a good thing in sketches because you may have to come back to this. So we do this and say, okay, immediately we get this dangling message. Tell us can features to fail, continue, ignore. Well, I'm going to ignore, okay? Because this, this stuff, we got dangling things. If I right click over here and go to what's wrong, it tells me the dangling message. Okay, don't want to fix that. Well, maybe I do want to fix that. So if I edit this sketch now that this came from, and select this dangling entity, which is gold, I see that I've got a gold color collinear symbol here and over here in the tree, a gold color collinear symbol. Now, if I want to fix that, all I've got to do is grab that little red drag handle and drop it right over there. Let me undo that. This line is selected. I pick the little red drag handle and drag it to an appropriate edge. And now it's all black. It's green as far as the relationships are concerned. There's no gold in them dar hills, and it's a happy camper. Now, this overhang may not be what you're looking for, but we, we fix the problem with dangling. Because that's what usually happens here. When you make a sketch in SolidWorks, SolidWorks names each one of those entities, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then one gets changed out like this one at the top, and maybe that is now something different. Maybe it's seven. And this one doesn't exist anymore. When this gets extruded, all of the edges and faces get named also with numbers. So whatever edge this was here now is a totally different edge than it was when that was a straight line. So that's why this is dangling. It's going, wait a minute, I was attached to line number seven or eight or nine or whatever, and now it's 27. What? Help me. I'll just stay right here until you fix me. So it needs a little assistance here. It's not the end of the world. That's why it doesn't have to be addressed immediately. But you do need to fix it. So go and do that when you can. This is Guy Delosier, Go Engineer. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.